Greg, thanks a lot. Final tributes have begun for the two FBI agents shot and killed Tuesday in Sunrise. Memorial services will take place this weekend at Hard Rock Stadium. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates has more. There's eight of us that came up here to Tampa, so we had these shirts made. Special Agent Laura Schwarzenberger was a member of CrossFit Vice, a gym in Coral Springs. And this weekend, a group of her former gym mates are competing in the Valor Games, a CrossFit competition in her honor. She never complained once, no matter how hard the workout, no matter what was going on in life. As soon as she got to that gym, she'd have her hair back in her, in her uh, signature braid, and she would just kind of forget all of the things going on. But Agent Schwarzenberger and her colleague Daniel Alfin's lives were cut short early Tuesday morning. The two were shot and killed by David Hubert as they were executing a federal search warrant. One of Alfin's former co-workers say he will be missed. My feeling would be if I if I needed him, uh, he would be one of those guys who would be a phone call away if I needed to put a team together. Three other agents were also wounded, one treated at the scene, and the other two have since been released from the hospital. Sunrise police say prior to the FBI shooting, there were several calls to Hubert's home. In one of those instances, he appeared to be hallucinating. And now, as the community comes together to remember the fallen agents, high-level White House officials will also be in attendance. At the request of the President, Homeland Security Advisor Liz Sher Dr. Liz Sherwood-Randall will accompany the Acting Attorney General to Sunrise, Florida this weekend. Again, the memorial services for the fallen FBI agents will be right here at the Hard Rock Stadium. Now, the first will be Saturday. That will be for Laura Schwarzenberger. The second Sunday for Alfin, Special Agent Alfin. Now, both of them will be close to the public, but you will still be able to see them. Just go to the CBS Miami website. We'll be live streaming them. Reporting in Miami Gardens, Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 Tonight.